Good afternoon, fellow teachers from the Division of Manila. I am Michelle D. Luzano, Master Teacher of Arellano High School. And I am Julian Joseph G. De La Cruz, School ICT Coordinator of Arellano High School. For today's uh, webinar, our topic will be developing online assessment tool using Google Forms. And here are the flow of our webinar. The first part will be the introduction to Google Form. And the second part will be on creating online quiz. Under that, we will teach you how to access Google Form, create a blank form, and also we will discuss the parts of the Google Form for you to be familiar with the Google Form. Then application proper, wherein uh, Mr. De La Cruz and I will demonstrate how to apply or how to create an online quiz. We will also teach you how to evaluate student responses and download student responses. So now let's move on to the first part of the webinar, the introduction. So I have here on my presentation, the icon of Google Forms. As you can see, the, the image of, or the icon of the Google Form. Google Form is a web-based application used to create forms for data collection. This is one application of Google that offers a, a online survey and online quiz. Google Form is a tool that allows us to collect information from the user via personalized survey and quiz. The information will be collected automatically and connected to the spreadsheet. Google Form is a free application of Google. So what are the advantages of using Google Forms? So first, we can use Google Form, uh, unlimited use of Google Form. This allows us to use the different templates that the Google offers. And also, Google Form allows us to share the result of the online quiz or survey. We can also get email notification of the result of our online quiz. Google Form is mobile friendly. In the event that our student do not have a personal PC at home, they can use their mobile phone to answer online quiz. Second, uh, we can customize our Google Form. It depends on the needs of the user. Next, Google Form can help us, teachers and students, to automate our online quiz. So now, let's move on to the second part of this webinar, creating online quiz. I will now turn over to you to Mr. Julian Joseph de la Cruz. Okay, good morning to everybody. First things first, so we need to use a magnifying glass first para makita ninyo kung, ano yung, kung paano mag-access. Then, first is kailangan make sure na meron tayong Google Chrome sa ating computers. So, hindi po po pwede, hindi po ma-access ang Google Forms sa ibang internet browser like Mozilla Firefox, Internet Explorer, and any other browser. Google Chrome lang po kasi sa Google po ang application na yun. First is muna tayo sa search web address. Type in forms.google.com Then press enter. Pag enter nyo, makikita nyo na kagad yung pinaka Google Form Dashboard. Una, kailangan, make sure natin naka-sign in tayo sa Gmail account natin. It's either debit email or Gmail account. Ano ba makikita natin sa dashboard? Una, makikita natin yung mga ginawa natin Google Form in our previous works. Ayun yun. 
mga nakasave po dyan lahat. Then, magkita na natin yung iba't ibang klaseng template. Press natin ang template gallery, then lalabas na yung iba't ibang kategory. Ano-anong kategory ang mga nandito? Personal, work category, and education category na magagamit natin in the future views. Sa ngayon, magsisimula tayo sa blank form. Yan. Nandito na tayo ngayon sa blank form ng isang Google form. So, let, let me explain what is the parts of a Google form template. Una rito, yung pinatawag nating file name section. So kung saan magagamit mo for your quick reference kapag ikaw ay nasa dashboard na. The next one is the custom team. Pag kinilik mo yung custom team, makikita mo yung iba't ibang options na pwede mong gamitin sa ating Google Form. So dito kasi kailangan may pagka-artistic din tayo sa paggawa ng form para maging attractive naman yung ating form. Okay? Una, yung header. Meron diyang upload button para makita mo or mailagay mo kung ano ang kung ano ang ilalagay mong header sa iyong Google Form. Usually, ang ilalagay po dyan ay header ng school or official logo ng school. In our case, ilalagay ko yung sa logo o header namin ng Arellano Rescue. So, click the photo, then press insert. Then, may pagkakataon o bibigyan tayo ng chance na ma-crop natin ang image na to. At this time, hindi na natin siya i-crop. So, press done. Then, wait for a moment mag-load siya, then mag upload yung ating header, school header. Then, the second one is the team color. Since ang ating kulay, ang kulay ng aming school ay green, automatic, ang isasuggest niyang kulay ay puro green. Meron diyang meron diyang uh, ano ba tawag yan? Faded green, light green, or dark green. So, magkiselect lang ako kung anong klaseng green ang meron dyan. The next is background color. Nasa ng background color? Ito po, pinasa labas ng pinaka-template. Ilalagay mo dyan kung anong kulay ang gusto mo. So, this time, pipiling ko rin start. The next one is the font style. So, syempre, may mga font style na posible tayong pwedeng magamit. In our case, kailangan uh, readable ang ating ilalagay na na font style, di ba? Siyempre, para mabasa kagad ng bata natin. And now, fully set up na ang ating custom team. Next one is the preview. So, anong mangyayari pagka uh, pinindot natin ang preview? Automatic, ipapakita niya yung student's view and or respondent's view nung ating ginawang template. Mamaya po, ide-demo sa iyo. Makikita natin sa pag ginawa na po ni Ma'am Luzano yung ating uh, pinaka-template or quiz template. Next is the settings. Ano makikita natin sa settings? Pag pinindot natin yan, Maka, maka, makikita natin yung tatlong tab. The general, the presentation, and the quizzes. Okay, first is the under the general. Ano-ano ang makikita natin? Ano naman yung makikita natin under the settings? So, meron tayong tatlong tab. The general, the presentation, and the quizzes. Under the general, may mga options tayo na pwedeng magamit. Isa na rito yung collect email address. Ano mangyayari kapag chinect natin ang collect email address? 
Ang mayayari po dyan, automatic, i-collect natin o i-record natin kung ano yung email ad na ginamit ng estudyante. Usually, Gmail account. Then, may lalabas ulit na panibagong option o kailangan natin i-check. Pag chinek natin yung response receipt, ang ibig sabihin niyan is respondents receive a copy of their responses. Automatic po, kung ano po yung sinagot ni respondents, makikita niya o isesend sa email niya kung ano yung mga nasagutan niya. Pag chinek natin yan, may dalawang option ulit na lalabas. Ano-ano yun? If respondents requests it. Ito naman, pag, pag ito ang pinili natin, ibig sabihin, kailangan munang mag-request mag mag ni respondent bago natin isend yung kanyang response. Pag chinek naman, na, pag pinili naman natin yung always, ibig sabihin, automatic kong isinesend ang response sa kanilang email without the consent of the teacher. The next one is the requires sign in. May isang option lang tayo na kailangan i-check or hindi. Yun ay limit to one response. Pag check natin yan, ano mangyayari? Respondents will be required to sign in to Google. Okay, ano ang ibig sabihin nun? Ibig sabihin, si students po, kailangan natin siyang i-require na magkaroon ng Gmail account. Kasi yun yung gagamitin niya pag-sign in ng, ng form. Kasi yung Gmail account po ay magiging ID niya sa pag-fill up ng forms or quiz na iyong ipapasa. Next is the respondent scan. Edit after submit. Anong gangyayari pagka chinik natin yan? Ibig sabihin yan, pagka submit ni student ng kanyang quiz, magkakaroon siya ng chance na ma-edit pa ang quiz na yun. Second is the C summary. Siyempre, in our case, i-uncheck natin yan. Next one is C summary charts and text. Responses. I-uncheck din natin yan. Kasi hindi din niya pwedeng makita yung mga bagay na ito. Kaya mananatili silang uncheck. Then press save. Next one is the presentation. May mga panibagong option ulit na na-real. Na 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 Next is the show progress bar. So, Ipapakita ba natin yung progress bar kapag uh, after niyang mag-submit? Pangalawa naman, shuffle order question. Ano naman ibig sabihin nito? Isa-shuffle niya yung question. Maaring yung sined mo na, na question ay eh maaring iba rin sa kanya. Isa-shuffle yung, isa yung question. Yung pangatlo, na-disable na yung show link to submit another response. Bakit po? Kasi po, chinek mo na yung limit to one response. Okay? Ibig sabihin, wala nang chance si bata na magsagot uli doon sa quiz na yun. Confirmation message. Usually, lumalabas ito after the, the answering of Google Form. So, lalagyan mo lang naman yan. For example, lalagyan mo lang your answer has been recorded. Recorded. May press save. Next one is the quizzes. Ito yung pinaka-importating settings sa atin. So, i-activate ngayon natin yung Google form natin as a quiz by toggling this button. Okay? Pag natagil na yan, it is now a fully activated 
as a quiz. May mga option yan na nariyan. Quiz option. First is the release of grade. Kung paano mo i-release ang kanilang grade. Paano ba yun? Sa una, may, ang first option natin dyan, immediately after its submission. Pagkasagot ba ng bata, automatic, isesend na kagad yung grade. Or, yung pangalawa ay later, after manual review. So, ang mangyayari dito, after ma-review ni teacher, yung sinagotang quiz o online quiz ng bata, manual niyang isesend sa bata yung response o yung score na nakuha niya sa online quiz na yun. Respondent can see ano-ano makikita, ano makikita natin dyan mga options. So, una ay miss questions. Ano yung mga miss questions? Pakikita nyo ba kung ano yung kusa nagkamali ang bata? Correct answers. Ipapakita mo ba kung ano yung mga tumama ng mga tanong? Kusa siya tumama ng mga tanong? And point values. Kung ano yung mga points na nakuha niya in that online quiz. Then press save. Next one is the send button. Ano-ano ang makikita natin sa send button? So, dito, binibigyan kayo ng maraming uh, maraming option kung saan pwede mong iparating sa bata yung quiz. Pwede rin by uh, email. So, itatype mo lang dyan yung mga email. Tapos, subject, subject your, your quiz name in the message. Okay? Then, pwede rin link. Okay. So, I'm, I'm encouraging everybody to use the send via email. Bakit po? Kasi pagka link po, ang pagsisendal lang naman natin ng link ay via FB. So, take note, Facebook is not the official online education para sa mga bata. Kasi bago nila mabuksan yung, ano, yung Facebook or yung link natin, nakapag-browse na yan sa FB. Naubos na yung data bago mabuksan yung ating quiz. So dapat, via email. Gmail is the official. So, meaning to say, we will, re we will require a student to have their Gmail account. Okay? Mamaya po, i-debem mo yan yung mga no? kung paano mag-send. Next one, meron tayo, kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayong mga option bar na nasa right side ng ating template. So, ito na yung option bar natin para gumawa ng template. Okay? Meron dyang add question. Pwede, pwede rin dyan, you may import your question. Add title and description. Add image. Add video. And add section. So ngayon naman, let's proceed now to, to demonstration on how to create an online quiz. Okay, thank you, Sir De La Cruz. So now, we will start creating our online quiz. So let's click the blank form. So we are now on the blank form view. So the first thing that we're going to do, according to Sir De La Cruz, let's customize the theme of our Google form. Let's add the header. Let's choose the header of our school. So click the upload tab. Okay, let's wait. Medyo mabagal po yung connection. Okay, click the browse button. And then, let us choose the 
header of the school. Click open. And then, click the done button. So, Google Form is now uploading the header of Arellano High School. So, as you can see, it's already uploaded. So, let's choose the team for this online quiz. Then, let's choose the background color. So, I will use the basic font style so that the, the student can easily understand or read the online quiz. So after we customize the team, let's now go to the settings. It is located on the upper right-hand corner of the window. Choose the general tab. Check the collect email address or addresses. And then check the response receipts. Click always and then require sign in let's check limit to one response because we only want our student to send one response let's go to the presentation let's uh let's choose a uh, show progress bar this will give the student an idea kung Gaano na or kung gaano na matatapos niya yung exam. Halimbawa kung 35% or 40% na accomplish na yung exam. And then, I will not choose shuffle question order because I will place a number or a question number. For the confirmation message, ang ilalagay ko dyan is Thank you. Your answers have been recorded. The students will receive the confirmation message once he finish answering the online quiz. And then let's move on to the quiz tab. Let's toggle on make this a quiz and then release the grade after manual review. And then click save so now we are ready to create our online quiz but make sure teachers that you already have a print out of your quiz para hindi kayo mahirapan abang gumagawa kayo ng online quiz dapat meron na kayong hard copy ng quiz sa gusto ninyo so first is let's type the title of your online quiz so for me as a teacher, because I'm using Google for formative evaluation, I will enter or type formative test. And then the title or the coverage of the lesson, like computer, hardware, and software. So this is the title of my online quiz. And then... On the title bar of the form, I will just click Untitled Form. Then as you can see, it automatically copies the name of the online quiz, of my online quiz. Okay? Next, form description. As teachers, you can put your direction under form description or you can simply write details about your topic or your lesson so for me i want to write the direction of my online quiz in the form description direction read each question carefully choose your answer from the choices given. Okay, next, email address. So the students will automatically 
before they answer, they will put their email address in the uh, email address box. And also, you will notice that there is a red asterisk beside email address. It means your students or you are requiring your students to enter the email address before answering the online quiz. Okay? Now, next, let's start now in creating a question. So before we start with the question, let's format first the question item. In the division of Manila, we are required to, uh, to make a formative evaluation or a formative test using multiple choice type of tests. So now, uh, I will toggle required. This will indicate that the students are required to answer this question before they move on to another item. So I will now type the question. I have here a ready-made question para medyo mapadali yung trabaho natin as teacher. I will enter an item number. Q1 stands for question number one. So what does CPU stand for? Because I am an ICT teacher, so the test that I am doing right now is based or regarding computer. If you want to add choices from this test, we will just click add option. Okay? Because a multiple type of test contains four distractor or four choices, click nyo lang po siya ng apat na beses. Okay? So, you can now edit option one. So, type A, and then yung choices nyo na po, like computer, processing unit. I hope you can follow teachers B, central, peripheral, Unit. Option C. Central processing unit. Option 4. Or option B, rather. Oh my God, andu lang natin. Nabura ko siya. Okay? Pwede nyo pong i-andu yun. In case accidentally na-click nyo na o na-diinan nyo yung backspace. So don't need, there's no need to worry, teachers. So, click. Click nyo lang po yung undo or press nyo yung undo. Then, computer. Processing. User. Okay? So, I'm done encoding the choices. So, paano, ta paano na yung mag -e enter ng sagot? Okay? So, check lang natin or click lang natin yung answer key. Then, let us assign points. Ilang points ang gusto ninyo na makuha ng bata for this particular item? So, gawin natin is one point. And then, iselect nyo po yung ratio button ng tamang sagot. So, what does CPU stands for? Central Processing Unit. Click nyo lang po yung ratio button and then you will see a green check mark. So, ibig sabihin, yun po yung tamang sagot. Of course, teachers, uh, syempre gusto natin kapag yung bata nag -e exam kailangan may immediate feedback. Okay? So, let's add answer feedback. So, there is a dialog box na may nag-pop up na dialog box. We have two tabs. Incorrect answer and then correct answer. So, incorrect answer, ano po yung feedback na gusto nyo yung Sabihin sa bata, kapag mali ang sinulat niya, ano po ang gusto niyong ilagay? Okay? So, ang pwede natin ilagay na feedback ay go back and read your lesson in computer hardware, and software. 
Okay? For clarification. And then, correct answer. Ano po yung ini-expect natin na response natin kapag nakasagot yung bata natin ng tamang sagot? Pwede natin iligay na? Good job. Okay. Well done. Amazing. Excellent. So, it's up to you, teachers. Okay? So, may kita nyo po, nag-assign na tayo ng points. Naglagay na tayo ng tamang sagot. We also... We also uh, give feedback for correct answer and incorrect answer, and then click done. Okay? Don't forget, teachers, to toggle on the required button. Okay? So, may napansin po ba kayo, teachers? Si Ma'am Lozano, nakalimutan niyang lagay yung ibang field. Okay? Gaya ng ano, yung name, grade, grade level, and section. But don't worry, teachers, we can do... Uh, we can still manage to arrange the online form by simply adding, uh, click the plus button or add question. Okay, idadrag nyo lang po yan. Itong nasa itaas, na first question natin, idrag lang natin. Huwag po kayong maratel, okay lang po yan. Okay, so ang una dapat, di ba, pag online quiz is the name of the student. Okay? Nandudun pa rin po yung question item number one natin. Huwag po kayong mag-alala. So, type po natin is complete name. This is the complete name of our student. Okay. Para pare-pareha sila ng response, magbigay tayo ng additional instruction na use capital letters. Okay. So this time, because we want to get their names, ang pipiliin na po natin ay short answer. Hindi na po multiple choice. Okay po, teachers? I hope you can follow. And then, itagal on lang natin yung required. So, ibig sabihin yan, we are requiring our students to input their names or their names before taking the test. Okay? And then, let's add another question. Okay. Ano yung second question na pwede natin ilagay? Grade level. Okay. And this time, we will use the option drop down. By the way, there are several options that you can choose from, from, the, from the drop down menu. Short answer, paragraph. Multiple choice, check boxes, drop down. You can also file upload, linear scale, multiple choice grid, etc. Okay? So for this, we will use drop down. So I will add four options. Add lang natin. Click nyo lang po yan para lumabas yung four options sa gusto natin. And then edit lang natin. I-backspace nyo lang yun or press nyo lang yung delete. Okay na. Okay? Lagay natin grade 7, grade 8, grade 9, grade 10. Okay? And then, click natin yung, o itagle on natin yung required. So, meron na tayong na complete name, grade level, and then, ano pa yung kulang? Yung section po ng bata. Let's add another question. This time, lagay natin section. Okay? So, we will use another drop-down menu. Then, add natin. Sa Arellano po kasi letters and section. So, we will, I will enter section A. Add option po tayo ulit. Okay? Then, edit lang natin yan. Highlight and then delete. Section B. Section C. Section B. So, for example, for section lang, teachers. Okay? Then, let's toggle on the required button. So, it means we are requiring our students to input their section. 
Okay. So here, I have here the teacher view. Okay, this is the teacher view where teacher edit or design the online quiz. Okay? So, let's try the student view. Ano ba yung magiging itsura ng online quiz on student view? Okay? On the upper right-hand corner of the Google form, you will see the preview button. If you select the preview button, okay, it will display the view of the student. Okay, tignan po natin. We have now the header, the title of the online quiz, the email, and then the name of the student. The grade level, matatandaan niyo po, sinelect natin, drop down. May kita niyo po dyan yung choices na ibinigay natin para sa estudyante. Okay? And then, yung question number one. Can you follow? I hope you can follow, teachers. So, this is the student view. Now, let's go back to the teacher's view. Also, in addition, the student view allows the teachers to check may malibang grammar, may malibang spelling sa bawat item. Okay? Bago natin isisend sa student. Okay po? So, now, let's move on to the Google Form Teacher's View Editor. Okay? We're now on the question number two. Select nyo lang po yan, question number two. And then mag-add tayo ng another question. Okay. Then, let's start. Kung ayaw nyo naman po na mag-add ng uh, isang question, meron pong other way na pwedeng gawin. Makikita nyo po dito sa ilalim, may nakalagay na duplicate. Okay. You can duplicate the question. Lalo na po kung pare-parehas naman yung choices o pagpipilian. Let's duplicate the question number one. Okay? So nakita niyo po, na-duplicate na yung Q1. So edit lang natin yung question. Q2, kasi nga question number two na. Okay? So, ang gagawin ko naman kanina is puro text. This time, I will create a multiple choice question with pictures. Okay po? Which of the following does not belong to the group? Okay? Hindi ko na po babaguhin kasi multiple choice. Tama po yun. And then yung required toggle on, tama na din po yun. Yung choices na lang po ang babaguhin natin. We can edit that by clicking the option box. Okay. Ang type natin ay keyboard. Keyboard. And then, let's add an image of a keyboard. Okay. Click lang po natin yung, uh, as you can see, insert image, marami po tayong option. We can upload camera by URL, photos, Google Drive, Google Image Search. Dahil meron na po ako sa computer ko, I will just select upload tab, and then browse. On my desktop, hanapin ko lang po yung image ng keyboard and then click open. I hope you can follow, teachers. So, pag kinlik nyo po yung open, automatically, may kita nyo, nag-upload po yung image dun sa option 1 or option A. Now, let's move on to option B. Edit lang po natin siya. And then, type naman natin yung second choice natin or second answer or option, like mouse. Then, let's add an image of a mouse. Same procedure lang din po yun. Upload and then browse. Sa desktop, hanap tayo ng mouse. Click open. Okay. So, as you can see, meron na tayong image ng mouse. Next. Option C, palitan natin ng printer. And then, add image. So, tab ulit, upload tab, browse, and then, get a image of a printer. And then, open. 
Okay. Next po, option D. Edit lang din natin ulit. Then, computer microphone. Type lang natin. And then, let's add an image. Browse ulit tayo. And then, microphone. Open. Yan. So, meron na po tayong apat na choices at kapag insert na rin tayo ng image. So, teachers, don't forget to assign an answer. So, sa question number two, ano po ba yung sagot doon? Which of the following does not belong to the group? Alin ba din yung naiiba? So, lahat siya, yung option A, B, and D are input devices. At yung printer ay output device. So, ang sagot doon ay C. So, hindi ko nababaguin. Mag-assign ako ng points, kung ilang points ang gusto ko for this particular item, lagay ko lang 1. So, hindi ko na rin siya babaguin. Now, ano yung makukuwang feedback ng bata kapag sumagot siya ng tama? Pwede nating i-edit yun. Okay? This time, ang, lagay naman, ang ilagay po nating comment or feedback is excellent. Okay? Your incorrect answer, the same lang din. Go back and read your lesson in computer hardware and software for clarification. So, sa incorrect answer, it's up to you, teacher, kung gusto niyo pang baguhin yung feedback para sa bata. Para mas madaling uh, maintindihan o malaman ng bata yung mali niya at magawa niya ng paraan o mapag-aralan niya yung item na yun or yung question niya yun. Okay? And then click save. Kung tapos na tayo, click natin yung done button. So now, we have question 1 and 2. So the same procedure will be applied for the rest of the online quiz. Kung gusto niyo pong mag-add hanggang 10 question, 5 question, parehas pa rin po yung procedure. But take note teachers, huwag niyo po laging kakalimutan na mag-assign ng point number or points. Kasi baka mamaya sumasagot si bata, wala po palang points. Okay? Ito po yun. Nakalimutan nyo mag-set ng points. So, nagsagot si bata, wala palang points yun. Okay? O kaya, nakalimutan nyo pong ilagay yung o itagal on yung required. Okay po? So now, uh, bibigay ko lang sa inyo dalawang example. Isi-save ko na siya. Okay? On the upper right hand corner, let's go back to settings and then save. I-save lang din po natin siya uli. Okay, bago natin i-send, let's go back to the preview. Okay, yung parang mata po yung itsura. So, the preview button will allows us to review the test. Okay, to review the test before sending it to our student. So, tignan niyo po kung may mga maling grammar, maling spelling, yung choices po ba tama, nakapag-assign po ba kayo ng points, may kita niyo din po dyan. Okay? Okay? Any question? Ganito po pala yung magiging itsura ng inyong question kapag may picture. Okay po? So, it's up to the teacher kung gano'n siya ka-creative para mapaganda niya yung kanyang online quiz. Okay? So, now, na-review ko na siya. We are now ready to send our online quiz to our students. Let's go back to the Google Form, Teacher's View, or Editor View. On the upper right-hand corner, select lang po natin yung send. And then, may makikita po kayo dyan, send via email, okay, if you want to get the link, etc. So, gaya po ng sinabi ni Sir De La Cruz, you can just type, the email address. For this particular webinar, I will send the online quiz to Sir De La Cruz para makita po natin or makita po ninyo teachers kung ano po yung itsura ng online quiz ninyo na ginawa kapag naisend nyo na sa bata. Okay po? So type lang natin yung email ad ni Sir De La Cruz. JJ? Okay. 
dahil madalas po ako nagsisend ang email kay Sir JJ, automatic na po lumabas yung kanyang email address. Tinype ko lang yung JJ. Okay. And then, type the message to your student. Magpwede kayo magpadala ng message sa student. Ano ba yung gusto nyo i-message sa student nyo? Umabasa niya once ma-receive niya yung online quiz niyo. Ako, ang gagawin ko, alagay ko, good day. You may now. You may now take your online quiz. And then, click nyo lang po yung send. Okay, now, Sir JJ, i-check na po natin kung na-receive ni Sir JJ yung online quiz. Let's check kung na-receive ko na yung quiz. So, let's refresh. Yun. Uh, kung mapapansin natin, nandito na yung email ni Ma'am Lozano as a teacher. So ngayon naman, yung nakikita nyo sa screen, yan yung student's view. Kung ano yung makikita o gagawin ng ating estudyante. Pag open natin ng inbox, so let's click first the fill out form. Pag click natin ng fill out form, mag-generate siya ng panibagong tab. Then magdi-display na yung pinaka pinaka quiz na ginawa ni Ma'am Lusano. Okay, let's answer. Yes. First is the information. Email address, the names, grade level, like for example, I am grade 9. Then, section D. Ito yung nasa taas, ito ang pinaka information ng bata or magiging identification natin sa bata. Then, the question number one will start. So, let's answer. Let's answer the quiz. Okay. Pag nasagutan na natin yung mga quiz, i-encourage natin ang bata na i-review muna nila ang kanilang sagot bago nila i-submit. Bakit? Kasi po, hindi na po nila pwede itong balikan. Okay. Pag na-review na po, press submit. Then pag na-submit na po yan, automatic, pag no-notify naman po kay teacher. Pamblasa, no? Okay, so now, after your student answered the online quiz, the teacher will go back to the Google Form Online Editor or yung, in, yung editor form natin. As you can see, doon po sa taas ng uh, header, may makikita po kayong dalawang tab. The question tab and then the responses. So select lang po natin yung responses tab. So as you can see, meron na pong isang response. Ibig sabihin po, yung student po natin, nakasagot na siya at nasubmit niya na yung sagot niya doon sa online quiz na sinagutan niya. Okay? Ano po yung makikita natin sa responses? Ito po yung maganda sa Google Form. It will help us teachers to have an insight of our student assessment. O ano yung, ano yung makikita natin? Yung average, median, and then yung range. Makikita natin na isa po yung estudyante natin sumagot. At dito makikita rin natin yung frequently missed question. Anong question ba yung pinaka madalas o pinaka maraming mali ng bata? In this example, as you can see, sa dalawang question na ginawa natin, yung dalawang yon ay hindi na sagot, uh, hindi na natama ni Sir J. Dalawang mali yung ano niya, sagot niya. Okay? Dito din, makikita nyo din kung ano yung score ng student. Makikita nyo po yung email ad ng bata yung score niya, which is 2, and then pwede nyo na siyang i-release. Yung pag-release po ng score teachers, kapag nakita nyo po dito sa 
sa scores, yung mga email address at kompleto na naman yung bata. Alimbawa, you have 20 students, tapos nakalagay na dito yung 20 email ads sa bata, pwede nyo na siyang i-release. Click nyo po yung release scores. Okay? And then, pwede na po kayong mamili kung kanino yung bata ipapadala. Pwede all respondents or pwede iselect nyo lang kung kanino nyo lang gusto, kung kaninong bata lang in particular. And then click send emails and then release. So, let's check to student view. So, Jay, paki-check kung na-receive mo na yung score mo. Ngayon naman, titignan natin kung pumasok may email ni Ma'am Lusa. Ni Ma'am Lusa, ano? Tungkol sa scores. So, ngayon, nalaman ko ang score ko ay 0 over 2. May link dyan sa baba, nakalagay view. Kiklik lang natin yan. Then, makikita natin kung saan tayo nagkamali, kung saan si bata, pwedeng makita ni bata kung saan siya nagkamali ng mga question. So, I will now turn over it to Mom Lozano. Kita nyo kay Sir J is the student view. Narilist ko po sa kanya yung score niya, nakita niya kung saan siya nagkamali. Ang maganda po doon, nakita rin niya yung feedback. Kung ano yung dapat niyang gawin, Noon sa mga item na nagkamali siya. So in this uh, responses tab, makikita niyo din po yung complete name ng bata. Lahat po nung sagot ng bata, makikita niyo. Example sa grade level, section, okay? Uh, uh, per question, kung ano yung sinagot ng bata, yung responses niya. Okay? May ipapakita din po ako sa inyo na sample ng... Yung marami ng sagot, okay? Ipapakita ko po sa inyo yung marami ng sagot. Kasi yung pinakita po namin ni Sir J, isa lang yung respondent, siya lang. Okay, this time, ipapakita ko po sa inyo yung sample ng isang online quiz sa Google Form na marami ng response, respondents or marami ng sagot. Antay lang po tayo ha. I-open ko po yung uh, previous na nagawa kong online quiz. Medyo naglalag lang po. Okay. So, may ginawa ako na dati po, formative test, hardware and software. Open ko lang po siya. And then, may kita niyo po, ito po yung teacher's view. Meron sa may kita niyo na sa response sub, may sampung sumagot. May kita niyo po. Ito po yung sample ko lang. Yung kay Sir Jay na ginawa namin kanina, siya lang kasi yung pinadalan ko. Okay? So dito, sa example ko, meron ng sampung sumagot. Okay? So now, may kita niyo po dito yung average ng bata o average score ng bata. So I have 20 students. Ano yung average na score nila? 3.4. Yung median is 4. And then ano yung range ng score ng mga bata? So yung range ng score, yung naglalaro yung score ng bata between uh, 1 to 5. Okay? Next is frequently missed question. So, yung out of 10 students, nagkamali sila sa question number 5. So, ito yung pinaka maraming mali. So, apat. So, dahil dito, may, uh, kumbaga, may idea na si teacher, ano yung difficult questions para sa mga bata. You can now insert remediation for this particular question. Okay po? And also, may kita nyo na din, yung scores ng mga bata. So, I have 10 students. Ito po yung mga scores nila. Okay? Para po makita nung sampung estudyante yung score nila, select ko lang yung release score. So, last time na-release ko na po yan dun sa mga estudyante ko. And then, may makikita po kayo sa ilalim na waiting for three responses. Ibig sabihin po, out of 13 students, meron pong tatlong bata na hindi pa sumasagot. Pag nangyari po yan, okay, meron pong uh, capacity or may tool na pwedeng i-notify tayo ni Google, ni Google Form, na send email reminder. Pag sinelect niyo po yan, okay, yung student natin ay makaka-receive ng reminder na kailangan po sagutan na nila yung formative test. Okay po? 
And then, may kita niya na po yung mga pangalan ng bata, sino-sino yung mga batang sumagot. And then, may pie chart. Dito po may kita kung ano-ano yung mga grade level na sumagot. And then, yung sections. And then, kung ilan bata ang nakakuha ng, o nakasagot per item. For example, sa question number one, yung uh, computer unit, may isang batang sumagot nun. So, option B, may isang batang sumagot. And then, yung C, may walong batang sumagot. So, you have an idea how many students got correct answer for this particular question, how many students got incorrect answer for this particular question. Okay po? So, after natin yan, ito na po yung tiyatawag natin na uh, uh, assessment and evaluation. Okay? Through this information, through this data, teachers can easily remediate their student. Okay? Pag nakita niyo po na bata, ah, mababa yung quiz ng bata. Pwede na po magbigay si teacher o mag-decide si teacher. Ano ba mas maganda? Uh, sa question na to, ang dami nagkamali. Anong dapat kong gawin? Pwede ko mag-face-to-face -face sa bata to, para ituro yung item na to uli. Okay? Or pwede naman akong mag-send ng video or ng module regarding sa topic na to para mas maintindihan ng bata yung lesson. Okay? Pwede niyo pong gawin yon Because it's online, napakadali na po okay, malaman ni teacher kung ano po yung strength and weaknesses ng bata. Ano yung item na nahirapan siya at ano naman yung item na okay sa kanya. And also, we can easily identify sinong bata ang pinakahirap sa topic na to. Kasi makikita nyo po agad, lumabas yung result. Alam mo na kung sino-sino agad yung mga batang uh, hirap sa, sa topic na to. Okay? You can easily remediate. Madedetect mo na agad. Okay? And then, pag natapos na po natin yan, let's go to question tab. Dito po makikita yung uh, responses ng mga bata. Okay? Per question. Halimbawa, sa name, yun yung pangalan na na-display. O, question number one. Ano yung sagot nila sa question number one? O, makikita nyo doon, ah, may bata nagkamali sa question number one, dalawa, sino yun? O, makikita nyo po dyan. Okay po. So, sa individual, dito naman, makikita nyo yung individual response or individual answer of your student. So, dito po, makikita nyo, JJ de la Cruz, siya po yung, ito po yung responses niya sa online quiz. So, iselect nyo lang po yun. Uh, ibang sudyante uli, si Tonyo Bonomeo naman. Ito po yung answer niya sa online quiz. Mahikita niyo po. Okay? So, dito, mahikita ng teacher kung ano, si dong bata particular, yung medyo nahirapan. Okay? You can also print the response or the quiz of your students. Okay? Kung gusto niyo po ng hard copy. Okay? Now, pwede rin naman Kung ayaw nyo ng hard copy at gusto nyo ng soft copy, click nyo lang po yung button. Ito po, yung may tatlong dot. Click nyo lang po yan. And then, you can download the student responses. Click nyo lang po yung download. Okay? May kita nyo po on the lower left hand of my window, meron pong zip, zip file. Naka-zip file po yung quiz. Okay? Open lang po natin yung zip file. May kita nyo po. Uh, Doon na lang po natin open sa. Okay. Kasi may winner application po ako, kaya yun nag-open. Okay. May kita nyo na po dito yung formative test. Naka-Excel file po siya. So, mas madali para kay teacher na i-copy-paste or madali na yung pagre-record po ng scores ng bata. Okay, ito po yun. Dito nyo na po makikita. Okay, lahat po ng sagot ng bata per item. Okay po. I hope, teachers, you can follow. Okay, 
I-close ko lang po ito. Okay. So now, I hope you you can uh, make your own online quiz. I hope na ina-share po kami, natulungan po namin kayo sa sa paraan na alam po namin. Okay po? Sir J? Uh, thank you for your listening. Mamlusan. Okay. In times of COVID-19 pandemic, it is important, teachers, that we uh, embrace uh, innovation and change. Education is a continuous process, so dapat teachers, we challenge ourselves to learn to learn more. Okay? Uh, online quiz is a useful tool for teachers, lalo na hindi tayo pwedeng physically magpunta sa school para turuan yung mga bata natin, hindi tayo pwedeng physically pumunta sa school to assess our students in our lesson. So with the use of Google Form, we can uh, easily assess our student every after our lesson and we can evaluate our student, their strength and weaknesses. And this Google Form or through this Google Form, we can easily remediate our student because Google Form provides us information about our students. So thank it's you. It's maximize the use of technology also. Kasi yan sa ngayon yung ating magiging uh, platform in education for the new normal. Ma'am Desana. Okay, thank you po. Hopefully po may natutunan po kayo. And later po, we will uh, we will entertain questions. Thank you very much. Good afternoon po. Yes. Hi, Ma'am Michelle. Yes, sir. Hmm. Jay, dyan na? Yes, sir. Nandito na po. Okay. So, magla-live na tayo para sa question and answer, ha? Yes, Tapos, sir. So, kung kailangan na na ulitin yung step, i-demo yung step para sa ating mga teacher, ulitin natin, ha? Okay, sir. Okay. Magandang hapon po ulit sa inyo. So, nandito na kami para sagutin ulit yung inyong mga tanong. Okay? Kung kinakailangan i-demo ulit nila sa inyo yung step, i-demo nila sa inyo. Okay? So, teka. Unang tanong. Unang tanong. O, yan. Unang tanong. Sige, Jay, basahin mo. O, hindi, ako na. Question po. Na-experience nyo na po bang i-insert ang Google Forms sa Kotobi? Ako hindi pa. Hindi. Hindi pa po. Hindi pa, pero palagay ko pwede. Palagay ko pwede naman, di ba? Yeah. Kasi yes, interactive sir. naman siya eh. Pwede. Okay, another question. Yes, pwede po bang nakaschedule ang pagsagot ng bata sa Google Forms? Example, one hour lang po siya available after that, hindi na pwedeng ma-access yung Google Form. Parang may ganun. Yes po. Parang may ganun, no? Parang may ganun. Yes. Ililimit yung number of hours na yun, para may ganun. Na pwede siyang sagutan. Oo, oh, na pwede siyang sagutan. May ganun siya. Yes, pa. Hmm. Aside from that, pwede po bang may timer ng bata sa pagsagot sa Google Form? For example, pag-access po ng link, may one hour para sagutan. Pwede yung may, may, pwede yung may oras yung pagsagot, pero yung uh, lalabas yung timer, uh, ginawa daw niya, hindi umubra. Ewan ko ba sa nagtatanong na to? Okay. Ah, sige. At saka, sir, uh, Sir, Sige, mamis, additional, mamis, additional, mamis. additional, sir. Kasi kung lalagyan po natin ng time limit, as we all know, hindi naman po lahat ng bata ay malakas yung net nila. Diba? Mas mag, kung magiging disadvantage sa part ng bata yun eh. Kung lalagyan natin ng time limit, <laughs> hindi naman lahat ng bata malakas ang signal ng internet connection eh. ba diba po? E kung yeah. lagyan natin ng, ng one hour, pagkatapos sa bagal ng internet niya, question number one pa lang siya. Yeah, pero alam ko nagawa ko to dati yung may timer. Anyway, oh, so yun. 
Ah, uh, may sample ka ba diyan, Ma'am Michelle para mapakita natin? Nakalen sir. Yung may timer. Pag wala, ah, wala sir. na lang natin. Ah, wala. wala akong taano, sir. No, alam ko may nagawa ko 'yan dati. Next question. Next question. Sige, antay-antay tayo baka nanonood pa dun sa YouTube yung iba. So kung inaabutan niyo po yung may part na may bloopers, po po man din. <laughs> Pero ngayon, okay na yung replay na walang bloopers. Okay? Okay na yung replay. Wala nang bloopers. Naalis na. Okay? Naka-standby po ang ating mga facilitator ngayon para sagutin ang inyong tanong. Okay, naka-standby, naka-standby. Hmm. Tarong lang po, huwag mahiya. Okay, naka-antabay lang po kami para sa inyong mga tanong. Naka-antabay, naka-antabay, naka-antabay. Punta ka muna ka. Sir, kanina kasi sa YouTube may nabasa ako nagtatanong isang teacher. Mm. Paano daw kung uh, magdalagay siya ng graph? Okay. Kasi gusto niya mag-add daw siya ng graph and then papa-analyze niya sa bata yung graph. Okay. okay. Oh, gusto ko lang sagutin yung tanong ng teacher na yun. Pwede pong mag-add ng graph. Pero true image po, yung image ng graph, pwede nyo pong i-add. Ah, i-add that's image. Okay. Yes, Tama so po. Add as image yung graph. Then, yeah. below pwede the image, mo... below the image, pwede siyang mag-input na ng mga questions niya para yes. ma-analyze ng bata. Ma'am Michelle, pwede ba natin i-demo dyan? Ay, opo. Sige po. Okay. Demo natin dyan. Sample. Okay. Open ko lang, sir, yung ano ko, ha? Yung aking Google Form. O, oh, balikan ko na lang yung isa yung ano. Yung medyo yung untitled ko. Ito. Okay, nagtatanong si ma'am, pwede ba yung graph? Yes, pwede po. Eh, dito makikita ninyo Ah, uh, ito po yung question item. Add lang po kayo ng image. Add image dito po sa uh, right side ng menu, may add image. Ngayon, pag mag-add na po kayo ng image, kung yung image ay nasa computer niyo, select yung lang po yung upload tab and then browse. Okay. Sabi ni Ma'am, gusto niya i-upload yung graph niya. So for example, ito yung graph. Sample lang po ako nyari, yan yung graph, sinelect ko. And then open ko. Okay. Ayan po. Kunyari, ito po yung ano, sample graph. Yes. Ha? Sample graph may picture. So, ayan po yung picture ng graph. Then mag a na lang siya ng question below the sample graph or the image. So, dyan na siya maglalagay ng question for the students to analyze the graph. Ganun po. Yes. Tapos may tanong dito. Uh, ayan. Mas okay kung limited time of access lang po sila. Like for example, within the day, lang nila pwedeng sagutan. Then on the next day, hindi na nila pwedeng i-access yung form. Dahil in connection to that, possible kasing maipasa ng ibang kaklase ang tanong at sagot sa quiz kapag Masyadong matagal ang pwedeng pagsagot. Tama. Kaya nga yes, yung sir. sample nyo, formative exam lang, di ba? Yes, sir. Hindi naman sa And sir, uh, pwedeng, ano din yan, sir, eh, uh, control ni teacher kung i-release niya na agad yung, yung, score, ano, yung score ng bata. Okay, sagot. Meron po yan, yung, yung sagot ng bata. So kung nakita mo, papakita ko lang ulit, sir, may sample ako nung, nung test. Mm-hmm. Okay. Para ay, 'di ba, ang worry ni teacher baka daw kasi mapasa-pasa na. Tama yes. po ba? 
Okay, hindi po mapapasa-pasa yon kung hindi mo pa nare-release yung scores ng bata. Hindi nila kasi, malalaman kung tama yung sinagot nila o mali. Yes, kasi hindi kasi pag nirelease mo na yung ano, pag nirelease na ni teacher yung score, pwede na rin makita yung mga correct answer. So, yeah. yun yung ino-worry ni sir kasi baka mamaya papasa yung sagot. Baka okay, magalala sir, hindi po ano yun. Baka magalala sir, hindi makikita ng bata yun. Kasi mm -hmm. sabay-sabay po i-release ni teacher yung result. Yung so, siyempre, si teacher, i-monitor niya kung sino yung mga hindi pa nakakasagot. Kasi may waiting response tayo yung tinatawag. Mapakita ka nga na waiting response. Okay. Ito po yung kanina na pinakita ko yung release score. So, manalalaman ni teacher na kulang pa pala ako ng isudyante, wala pa sumasagot. Doon sa waiting for three responses, malalaman ni teacher na meron pa siyang tatlong isudyante na hindi pa sumasagot. So, the teacher can send an email reminder for those three students. Yun po yun. Yes, yes. Ngayon, pagkumpleto na lahat ng responses ng kanyang sudyante, pwede niya na manually i-release yung scores. Score. Yes. At yung score na yan, meron niyang pito correction. Malalaman yes. naman. Pero ma'am, isa pa, pag ni-release mo yung scores, dapat naka-off na yung, ano, yung accepting responses. Para kahit ma-release mo yung scores, wala nang pwedeng magsagot. Yes, yes sir. Hmm. Tama din po yan, yes. Yes. Hindi po ba pwedeng mag-set ng deadline for submission? Pwede po. Pwedeng pwede. Yes, pwede, pwede po. Sorry po. Paano po ulit mag-save? Automatic pong nagsisave yan sa Google Drive nung inyong Gmail na binuksan. Makategorize o mag-group din po ba yung result ng quiz by section? Yes po. Yes. Makikita yes, niyo po yon. Ipapakita ko po. Sa graph, bigay. Ayan, pakita mo yun. Uh, ito po, meron po tayong pie chart. Nakikita niyo po ba? Medyo nagahang lang sa FB page. May pie, may pie chart po yon. Ipapakita doon yung different sections. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. Next. Yung sinasabi pong mapapasa, may papasa-pasa po siguro yung, eh yung question po mismo. Nagawa na po ng screenshot yung question. And then magtotoka ah, po ang okay. uh, eh, ng correct answer. Tama. Siguro gawa Tama nyo po. yun. Joke lang. <laughs> Tama. <laughs> Tama yun, Rod. Tama, tama. Kaya kailangan. Uh, uh, hindi naman na maiwasan yun, sir. Because we uh, all, lahat tayo may technology. Eh. We have yes, access well, to technology. Anyway, the, workshop, the workshop did not encourage to use it as a summative test. It encourages to use it as a formative test. Yes, 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 sir. But we can do also summative tests, sir. Oh, oh, Kung do. gusto ni teacher. Yes, pwede naman. Paano po gawing unaccessible na yung quiz? Meron pong response dun sa taas. Mam okay, 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 po. Tatagil nyo lang yan. po. Yan. yan. Accepting yeah. response. Ayun po. Yung off mo lang yan. Yes, Sige po. Sige mo, ma'am. Pagka ino po yan, di na yan. yan. Pwede yan. yan. Pwede na pa wala nang pwedeng sumagot. Wala nang pwedeng sumagot. Okay. Yes. Ano pa? Ano pa? Sige, tanong pa. Good afternoon, watching from Bulacan. Ayan, buto pa kayo sa Bulacan. Hindi na kayo ECQ by 16. Gusto na kayo dyan sa Bulacan. <laughs> okay. Question pa po. Question pa. Question... Dito lang po kami maghihintay. Question. Pwede po ba isend ang quiz sa chat group ng klase kung hindi ko naman alam ang email ad nila? Para daw pa, sir? Pwede isend? Is yes, pwede po. Okay, pwede daw. Yes po, through FB po, messenger, pwede. Pero Basta, hindi siya pero kasi, kasi advisable. Oh, oh, kasi ano, bago magbuksan ni student yung ating... Uh, link para sa quiz eh nakapag FB na ubos na yung data sa pag FB <laughs> <laughs> bago mabuksan yung link kaya hindi po namin na uh, ini-encourage na gumamit ng FB messenger maliban sa Gmail sana okay thank you po 
Thank you, thank you sa mga nanonood. 116 viewers. Yung ating bagong, yung ating video dun sa, yung, yung ating video dun sa YouTube ay edited na po yun. Wala ng bloopers. So you can go always go back to so the replay. Na late lang po kasi yung pag-activate nung, nung edited. So don't forget to subscribe po ha. Okay, sabi ni Ma'am Imelda, problem bata di lahat may internet at email. Correct po. Kaya Correct po. Yes, ang sabi nga, sabi ko nga doon sa isang post ko, wag puro digital LM sang gawin. Kailangan may printable dahil may mga bata tayo na aasa lang sa ating hard copy. Okay? Yes po. Either sabay-sabay sila magsagot at sabay-sabay mag-Google or tumingin sa notes. Bago sagutan lahat at sabay-sabay sila mag-send ng answer kasi online naman at mag-usap-usap yan. Example sa FB kung may GC sila. So kung mali ang isa, mali lahat. Oh, hindi ko alam ano yung point is yan. nag niyo ba? <laughs> yes po. <laughs> okay. kahit, kahit naman po sa face-to-face, nagagawa ng bata yun. Eh. Yes. Hindi lang sa online. Yes. So, pwede po ba mag-send ng quiz sa group chat sa Messenger? So, yes, po, na pwede. pwede po, pwede. Ano na po yan kanina? Saan po isend ang output, sir? Ito rin yung gusto kong tanong, Ma Michelle. Bale, ang itsura ng yes, output po. ko ngayon ay Google Form, siyempre. Apo, pag student then, view po, Google Form. Apo. Pag teacher, pag teacher Din, view, yung, yung may editor po. Ah, may editor. Apo. Okay, okay. So, wala... Uh, Mabuview ko lang talaga yung student view pag sinend niyo. Yes sir, oo. Oh, yung link na lang ay sisend nila yes. sa iyo. Oh, ay may pati yung preview sir, may preview eh. Ah, oh, preview. Yan. Yun, Pero yung preview. Teachers ano, yung teachers view hindi nila ma, hindi mo makikita sa iyo. Mm, yes. Kasi kanila yan eh. Yung hindi teachers eh yung students view ang makikita, yes, sir. Mm. So Next. Ah, uh, meron pang tanong ayan. Pwede po ba exclusive lang sa students email ang quiz? Wala pong ibang makakasagot na ibang tao. Parang pwede yun. Yes po, kasi isesend mo oh. naman talaga yun sa okay. email lang bata eh. Oo, oh, pwede yun. Kumbaga, yung sinendan mo, yung nanandun, sila lang ang makakasagot. Oh, sila lang ang makakasagot. At yung email na yun, take note, isa lang ang pe, isang beses lang sila pwedeng sumagot. Yes. yes. Habang sumasagot si Sir JJ, hindi ko po napansin, Lumalabas yung feedback na ginagawa ni Ma'am per question. So, yung feedback pala ay malalaman ng bata pag nirelease yung result ng quiz. Yes po. Tama yes. po. Uh, true feedback, may, may remediation na agad dun si teacher. Kasi for example, nagkamali yung bata sa isang particular item. True feedback, pwede ilagay ni teacher kung ano yung pwede niyang basahin para mas maintindihan niya yung lesson. Pwede rin magbigay si teacher ng link para uh, ma mabasa o mapanood ng bata para additional dun sa uh, sa lesson para mas maintindihan niya. Yes. Okay, okay. Sige pa, may tanong pa. Ayun. Sorry po, saan po pwedeng makita ulit ang feedback at saan po pwedeng makita ang paglalagay? Ang tamang yeah. sagot. Okay, Ma'am Michelle, pwede mo ulit. Ma okay, sige po. Uh, balik po tayo dun sa question tab. Nakikita niyo po? Okay, select ko po yung question number four. Okay, select po natin. Yan po. Pag kinlik niyo po yan, lalabas na po yun. Alimbawa, question number four. What part of the computer serve as the heart and the brain of the computer? Click nyo lang po yun. Yun. Tapos lalabas na po yung feedback. Tapos done. Okay. Tapos click nyo po yung done. Yan. Nakasunod po ba?
Sekitar nama. Okey. Okay. Gusto niyo po ba ng isa pang sample, additional? Kung additional po tayo ha, add question para po masabayan ninyo. Mag-add po tayo ng isa. Uh, Nakaklose na po kasi ito eh. Open ko po yung isa kong uh, an untitled form para po masabayan niyo po. So for example, sa question na to, i-zoom ko lang. So, for example, gawa tayo ng tanong. Uh, kuha lang po ako ng sample question. Okay. Sample question, alimbawa, number 3. Tatype po tayo ng question. Asensya na kung medyo mabagal po, ah. Okay. Uh, example, what? What part of the... Computer serves as the brain of the computer system. Okay. The choices po tayo. Okay. A. CPU. Click nyo lang po uli yung add option. B. Hard disk drive. Then another option. C. Motherboard. And the last option. B. System unit. Okay. Kanina po may nagtatanong paano lalagyan ng, ng feedback at paano lalagyan ng points. So kung meron na po tayong four choices. Okay. Click nyo lang po yung toggle required. Okay. Medyo nagahang lang po. Okay. Uh, makikita nyo po yung answer key. I-click nyo lang po yung answer key. Okay, can you follow? Click nyo lang yes, po yung yes, answer yes, key. Yes, Tapos, mag-assign po kayo ng points. Uh, point, naglagay po ako ng one point. And then, i-click nyo po yung tamang sagot. So, ang sagot po dyan ay CPU. Maikita nyo po na meron pong green check. So, ibig sabihin, siya po yung tamang sagot. And then, sa ilalim po niya, may lalabas po na add answer feedback. Uulitin ko po, kapag nakapag-assign na po kayo ng points, and then kinlik nyo na or sinelect nyo na po yung tamang sagot, below that, meron pong nakalagay answer feedback. So, select nyo lang, may lalabas pong dialog box na mayroong two tabs. So, feedback for incorrect answer. Dito po, pwede nyo ilagay yung link sa sa video or sa module na gusto nyo basahin ng bata para mas maintindihan niya yung lesson. Or pwede nyo sabihin na go back. And read your lesson in computer Hardware and software for clarification. Maganda po yung feedback kasi isang form na po ito ng remediation. Na pag mayroon silang maling sagot, alam ng bata kung anong topic, anong lesson po yung babalikan nila para mas maintindihan nila yung topic o yung lesson o yung particular na question na yun. And then, For correct answer, let us not forget to affirm our students. So, pwede natin lagyan ng good job. Okay? And then, click lang po natin yung save. May kita nyo po na meron na tayong feedback for correct answer and feedback 
for incorrect answer. Click nyo lang po yung done button. Nakasunod po ba? Tignan natin mga feedback nila. Sige, balikan natin yan ma'am, no? So may nagtanong dito, ma'am, sorry, kaka-open ko lang ng session. Paano po maka-access ng software na yan ng assessment? Ito po yung kasama sa inyong Google account. So, yes, gawa lang po kayo ng Google account. Kung wala, deped email, meron din yan. Pwede, why not? Okay, next question. Um, ito na po ba ang gagamitin kapag natuloy itong online class? Hindi po. Hindi po. We're just sharing the things that you can use para sa ating new normal situation. Para may options lang po tayo. Para may mga options lang po kayo. Next. Next, next, next. May limit po ba ang questions na pwedeng ilagay? Parang wala pa ako na encounter na ganun. Wala, wala naman. Pa, wala, wala. Wala, pa, wala. Yes, wala naman. Okay, para sa mga nagtatanong kung saan isasubmit. Teka, pakita ko. Kung saan isasubmit. Doon pa rin sa ating link, deped.in slash webinar output pa rin. Doon pa rin sa ating link na yan. Pero, pakita ko, teka. Okay, ayan. So, dyan pa rin sa link na yan. Pero pakita ko, ano, da ano dapat yung isasubmit ninyo. Pakita ko lang. Okay. Uh, Yan, kita niyo po yung aking screen. Um, Doon po sa taas, makikita ninyo accepting responses. Okay? Kailangan po, nakaklik yung accepting responses pag sinagmit ninyo yung inyong output. Dahil pag hindi nakasaklik yon, ibig sabihin, hindi ko ma-view yung output ninyo. Ganyan ang sample ng kapag pag naka-off yung accepting responses, nakapula siya. So, not accepting. Pag naka not accepting, hindi ko makikita yung inyong output. So, kailangan accepting siya. Ngayon, ano yung isasubmit ninyo o paano yung isasubmit? Click nyo po yung preview button, yung mata sa upper right. Click nyo yung preview button sa upper right, yung mata. Tapos, teka, makita ko ulit yung aking screen. Lipat ko lang. Lipat, lipat. Okay. Share screen ko ulit para lang makita nyo yung gagawin niyo. Okay, ayan. So ito yung isasubmit niyo. Ito dapat ang makikita ko. Dun sa inyong browser, dun sa inyong browser, kopyahin lang yung buong link. Kopyahin lang yung buong link. Tapos yung link na yun, Diba? Yung buong link, ibig sabihin kung saan kayo nagtatype ng halimbawa, www.facebook.com. Sir, address bar, address bar. Address bar, yes. Thank you, Jay. Address bar ang tawag doon. So, kopyahin nyo lang yung buong link. Tapos, dito sa output for online submission, kita nyo po, outline, output for online assessment, sorry, output for the online assessment, i-paste nyo lang po yung link dyan. I-paste nyo lang yung link dyan. Ayan, tapos click nyo lang yung submit para ma-view ko yung output ninyo. But then again, hindi ko ma-view yung output ninyo kung naka-off yung accepting responses dito. Dito. Kung naka-off yan, hindi ko ma-view yung gawa nyo. So, dapat naka-on. Okay po? So, again, ito po yung ating um, submission site. Pagkatapos nitong Ating live, i-edit ko itong instruction, idadagdag ko dun sa YouTube video natin para tuloy-tuloy. Pati yung pag-submission mapapanood nyo ulit. Okay? So, i-download ko itong Facebook video natin na to para ma-edit, tas idadagdag ko doon sa, sa online tutorial ni Sir JJ at ni Ma'am Michelle kanina para tuloy-tuloy yung, yung papagpanood nyo ng instruction. San po yung... San po send yung output URL? So, gaya po na sabi ko kanina, dun pa rin sa kung saan, saan kayo nagsasubmit. Deped.in slash webinar output. Nasaan na ba yun? Ayun. Deped.in slash webinar output. Case sensitive po ha. Case sensitive. Hmm. Ano pa? Ano pa? Ano pa? 
Okay, para sa mga may tanong, pwede niya naman i-add si Sir JJ at si Ma'am Michelle. Yes. So, JJ pwede de la Cruz. Pwede niyo anytime. Yes. Chen Lozano sa Facebook din. Yes po. Sir, ilang questions po ang ilalagay sa output? Buong exam. So, kung gusto yung quiz lang yan, five items, kung buo na yun, why not? Pero sana buo yung exam. May responses and everything. Buo. Okay? Huwag naman isa. Sobra naman yung isa, oh. Isang item. Hindi tayo makakuha naman. Sige, mag-set tayo. Sige, mag-set tayo minimum. Ten items. Ten items, sir, yes. Ten items is okay. Okay. Ten items. Sa pagpasa po ng output, may requirements po ba kung ilang questions? Sige po. Ten items. Ten items. Ten items po. Ten items. Kasi baka mamaya mag-submit ng isa yung iba. Ten items. Comment natin, ha? Ten items. Okay. Minimum, minimum of 10 items. Minimum of 10 items. Tapos natin sa script. Ayan. Tapos natin sa script. May responses na po ba, sir? Mabubi ako may responses, Ma'am Michelle. Hindi, ano? Hindi po. Sa kanila, sa kanila lang po. Sa kanila lang. Ah, sa kanila lang, hindi. Sa kanila lang po yung responses. Kasi sino po yung gumawa nung Google Form? Hi, sir. You need permission po nakalagay. Ibig sabihin, you're not using your DepEd email. Okay, so maraming salamat po. Again, pagkatapos nitong video na, na live broadcast natin na to, ay... Sir JC, ano po yung ikakapi sa address, address bar? Yung link po nung inyong output. Pag kinlik nyo yung preview, kita nyo po yung aking screen, yung mata dun sa upper right, upper right corner, click nyo yun. Pag kinlik nyo yun, lalabas yung preview, kopyahin lang yung link sa taas, sa address bar. Buong yun. Yun yung ipipaste ninyo doon sa submission link. Okay. So, ayan. Tinanong niya ulit. Yeah, yun po. Yun po yung sagot. Mm -mm. Until what time po dapat mag-submit? 72 hours po. Paalala yung output na PowerPoint hanggang bukas na lang po ng alas 5. Meron na lang kayong 24 hours. Pero itong test na to, meron kayong 72 hours. Okay? 72 hours. Ayan. Sabi ni Mamayla kung kailan output. 72 hours. Mamayla. Sir Navara, 72 hours din po. Pwede din ba itong gawin sa CP? Yes. Kaya lang, very limited ang movement mo pag cellphone. Yes. Okay? So again, um, we'll now have to end this, uh, we, we'll now have to end this broadcast, pero i-edit ko tong live na to para maidagdag ko dun sa ating tutorial dun sa video sa YouTube. Okay? Maraming salamat sa inyo. Hanggang Thank you po. Sa Ma Michelle, Sir JJ, salamat ha. Yes Lagi po, sir. Na, Thank you. Tong, Lagi ko na asahan itong dalawang ito. Lagi akong pinapaunak. Thank you, sir, for the opportunity. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Mag-ingat po kayong lahat. Salamat.